What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, RG3, and I'm live from the 313, and I wanted to welcome you back. Welcome to Road to Elite. I'm going to help you become elite. Y'all going to help me become a better elite, whatever. Today's episode, episode two, is on crown and connection combo. I like to put them together because they belong together. The connections, in my opinion, beehive, it starts at the crown. So if your crown is all jacked up, whatever forks that you got in there, miss angles in there, is gonna spread. So my job is to teach you how to get the crown correct and help you, guide you along to find your proper angles so that this won't happen. RG3, and I'm live for the 7s. I got more of these where they came from. If you're interested, hit me up. I ain't out here trying to rape nobody. Brand new official OG. These boys have got plenty. If you're interested, hit me up. Drop me an email. My email will be um, in the description. Crown of Connections. I'll be using this on my crown. Be patient. You're having a thin crown and you don't have enough waves in the crown or it's wide and you don't have enough hair, you need to focus on growing your crown, okay? I've been preaching this since 2011 when I hit YouTube, man. Grow the crown. You can't close it without the hair. This is what I'm looking like right now. I was thinner, I was bullshitting, I wasn't putting nothing in my crown. I just really wasn't taking it serious. It fell off and now I'm getting it right back because I'm putting hard work into it. Been using this Regal 7 Growth Oil by My Fluffy Puffs. I know y'all done seen it on the pages. If not, it's real, it's not no hype. I use it every two days. Some days I put it in my whole head, some days I don't. But if I do uh, stick to my every two days, it's absolutely going in the crown, absolutely. I put it directly in the crown and if you're one of those people, who's having growth problems at the whole wide base of the crown. Listen, put the oil or put anything that says growth directly in the eye. Put it in the eye, the eye of the crown. Thin crowns, find something for growth. This is for everybody who's got a semi-closed crown who just needs it either to be thicker or fuller or they just trying to close it. If you just trying to close it and all your circumstances is correct up there, you just grab a comb and a brush and let's rock. Give you time to go get your comb and brush because if you don't, we got problems. Go get the comb, bro. Let's get, let's get cozy right quick. You have to find the origin of the eye of the crown. You gotta find where your crown starts at. Like the very center of the crown. You gotta take the comb and you gotta toy with the crown. See, this is where, this right here is the center of my crown. I'm chasing the center of the crown. Chasing it. When I'm brushing in the mirror, I'm chasing the center of the crown. Listen to me. Chase the center of the crown. With the comb, you're gonna take your tips and you're gonna comb it out. I don't care how thin it is. You're gonna comb, you're gonna comb it from smack dab in the middle. See, you wanna comb it until you build that ring. You work around that circle till it forms a nice, neat, clean 
Circle. You gotta be real with yourself. Is my crown shitty or not? The answer is yes. <laughs> you gotta ask yourself, can I win a battle with this crown? If the answer is no, this is for you. If you just fucking elite and you just got a few flaws and you're trying to close your crown up, this is for you. Comb the crown. Practice. It takes time. Comb the freaking crown. It takes time. You have to build it up. So I'm going to let y'all watch me work. This circle, if you don't have one, imagine having one and chase it. After you figured out how to comb the crown, same comb strokes that you done figured out, and you're gonna spread them through the pattern. Matter of fact, I love y'all. So I'm gonna give y'all an extra tip on this road to elite. Crown, connections, and flow. If you don't know what flow is, is when you see somebody's 360s and they Without no pitchforks, no, not not without forks, but like with no bumps in the road. If they glide you all across their hair and, they, and you see the ripples everywhere and they smooth and they belong with the pattern, they don't look like it's forced. But after you figured out how to comb the crown, you're gonna take those same strokes and you're gonna follow through with them. This is how you learn your angles from your crown, from this centerpiece. Telling you the crown is going to come into place with no hesitation. If you just put the work in, concentrate, take every stroke from that spot. Woo. So let's get to this brush work. So when you're using a brush to improve your crown or you isolate it, me, to be honest, sound crazy, I hate isolating because me, it just, I don't know, it takes the fun out of it. I like to incorporate my crown work into the flow of my waves. But for today, for y'all, cause y'all been thirsty for this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how I get down with the brush when I isolate the crown. Same rules apply. I like this one cause you can put pressure on it here. It's got that curve. So you can put your finger in there and apply good pressure. You can use the curve with the tips. I'm not too much of a fan of that, but I do use that for that. So let's get to it. So you start right in the middle. Um, you're chasing the rings you just made with the comb. Okay? You're chasing those rings that you just made. Now, if you make a line, and if I make a line, I'm gonna show y'all what to do. But if you make a line while you're um, focusing on it with the brush, all you gotta do is go back into it with the comb. Go back into it with the comb. Straighten it back out. Then chase it again. Once I get satisfied. I love y'all, so I'm in the camera all matrix bent, twisted around for y'all planking and shit like that. So of course I couldn't get exactly the type of session that I would like. Y'all got me back banging. There's two ways you can do this. Before the session or after the session or before and after the session. Look at that. And you keep doing it, and you keep doing it. Make a habit out of this. If you want to improve, you're going to do it every day. This road to elite, this is not road to maintenance, this road to elite. You get all the hard work out the way first. So that once you become elite, you can learn how to maintain your hair at a high level at all times. To get into flow, you get into a brush. So after you've set your crown, boom, crown, I have an idea where I want to do it, what I want to do with it. 
once I start brushing the rest of my hair. So, in order to work on flow, you have to respect your crown placement. So, for my beehive waivers, I can only speak to who I have the most experience with. Um, every time I have a swirl uh, question, hit my inbox, I shoot them over to AG. AG Hall of Fame, if y'all know who she is, y'all crazy. I put the link for her. If y'all got squirrels, I'll put her link in the description. But if you got a, squir a swirl, a squirrel, you hit her up. But for beehivers, I'm here for y'all. So beehive, you want everything to come from that crown. This is how you learn your angles. with coming from the crown that's when you move your way down and you try to finish the flow of the hair i got plenty for sale but i am gonna give one away to somebody that's lucky i've had problems with the last giveaway where i would announce a winner uh in the comments and they won't reply so if you want to win this you need to be replying to the comments uh, coming back to see if you was chosen in the comments. I'll probably do a video this time or a shout out at the beginning of my next video. I love these too because you can get behind the ear, uh, which is one of my weak spots. These tips for the road to elite, you put as much effort as you can into them for yourself. You don't have to try to do how long I did or whatever the case may be. If you got all of the time, put the work in. If y'all got any questions, ask me down below. If you one of those people that's sleeping, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop me a comment or a question down below. Let me know what you would like to see and I will get it going for you. Uh, it's your girl RG3 and this is The Road to Elite. See you next episode.